everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Sunday, and I'm doing something a little different today. I'm making a video after we went to eat. <laughs> I just had to powder a little bit and put my lips back on, but we went to just have Italian, and um, I figure I'll tell you what I got to eat since I'm eating low carb and everything. I didn't have bread, which killed me. I didn't have any of the fried cheese, which... That wasn't that bad, but I really do love that bread dipped in the herbs and stuff, <laughs> the oil. And um, I had a Caesar salad with no croutons. And then I had their grilled chicken with, um, I think it's called, is it zucchini Stefano or something? It's where they slice up zucchini and tomatoes and put pepper and garlic and everything in it. And then Will gets um, like... A, an adult spaghetti, but he doesn't want the super salad. So what I do is I get an extra side of that zucchini. And then right when I get my chicken, it's like a full chicken breast. So I cut it right down the middle and I take that other half of the chicken breast and then that other side of the zucchini home. And that's what I'll eat tomorrow night. So that's what I had. So today I wanted to just update you on the products that I showed you the other day and tell you what I thought about them. And I had placed an order with Sephora that came yesterday that I've used one twice and then one once today and I thought I would go ahead and show you. And I brought this out here too because this is what I have on today. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect, <laughs> that name. But um, so this is if the Valentine would be a little too pink or cool tone for you, then this is what you'd want. And I have it on today with the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Iconic or Iconic Nude, one of those. I think it's Nude Iconic Liner, the one that's kind of a more of a brown. And um, just a little bit of Buxom Celeste in the center, just to kind of give it a little something. And then, um, okay, so the first thing I will tell you about is this NARS Concealer. And when I looked it up, I realized that the creme brulee, the reason I thought it was a little bit more brightening is because it has more of a like a pink undertone than the custard has more of that golden undertone, which is really good because it's that's why it's brightening. So let me see. I don't have it on today. So let me see. I used a brush when I used it yesterday, but um, let me see if you can, I'll show you what else I have on right now. What I have on is good too, so it's hard to hard to tell but when I used it I was like oh my goodness it is like I used like a synthetic um, Sedona lace brush and right when I used it I could not believe one how good the coverage is and two it's like as soon as you put it on it's blended it is so neat now I have been told that it's um, dry and I don't necessarily have dry under eyes because I've really been using all my, you know, eye creams and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. I didn't notice it, you know, being that bad. And I do take my foundation all the way up to, you know, over my eye and everything. So maybe, you know, in combination with the foundation and then the Fix Plus that I do before I use this, because I use mine at the end. But um, it is beautiful. I mean, it's different than the shape tape. I can't imagine, you know, you won't be able to do, if you're a person that likes to do, you know, all that highlighting and stuff, it wouldn't be for that. But I think it's going to be perfect just if you want to, just like me, and you just want to cover just like right in there, that's what it's really good for. No regrets at all. I really like it. And I liked it so much, I went straight over to, Brooke was in her room getting ready, and I had her try it, and she loved it too. So I really, really do like that. I think that you will too. Okay, and then the next thing was this Becca powder. How pretty is this packaging? That What a good price for this. I'm not sure how the, um, it's the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder um, in Golden Hour. And I have it on today and I wore it yesterday and it's beautiful. Here it is in the lid. It's not as, um, Let's see. It's not as pigmented as the Lancome, I don't believe. But it's so, it's very, very silky. It's just, it's beautiful. I really think. And it has set my foundation 
well and see it doesn't leave a powdery look at all so i really like it i used it yesterday and today and um i think it's a good one it's not as luminous as the la mer if you want more of a luminous powder you'll like the la mer but this is right there with the lancome maybe not quite as luminous as the lancome it's more of a soft look but it, it's beautiful i think it's definitely worth a try and I just love this packaging. It's so pretty there. It goes like that. Good job, Becca. Okay, and then the Peter Thomas Roth and the Kate Somerville, both of those hydrating, the, I think it was Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior, sorry, and the Peter Thomas Roth Water Quench. Love them both. And matter of fact, Brooke and I, we, did, we wanted to go see that new movie with Matthew McConaughey, Gold. And they didn't have it at our regular theater that we always go to. So we were going to go ahead and go to the other, like an older theater that is further away. And um, by the time we went to get tickets, they didn't have a showtime that night. It was like, oh, they, they I guess we had missed the early afternoon, but they only had like a nine something. And we like to go at seven. I don't want to be out that late with her. So we didn't get to go to the movie. So I said, well, let's just ride out to Ulta and then go to Chick-fil-A. And um, so that's what we did. And I was going to get that Peter Thomas Roth water cloud cream. And they didn't have it there. So it might be a Sephora exclusive or just, you know, I'm sure Ulta doesn't have every single thing he carries. So, and then they don't have Kate Somerville there. Um, so, but I did... <laughs> to that peel Friday night. Wow. That um, first aid beauty peel. And she gave me enough to do it again too. It, I left it on the full five minutes because I felt like my skin is used to stuff like that. And um, it really did make my face red and it was really burning like after I took it off. So if you are someone who doesn't want to experience that, it might be too strong for you, but I loved it. It immediately, um, you know, exfoliated right in here. I guess I, I guess where my chin dips in right there, that is where I have more of the, more of a buildup or something. I don't know. I don't know why that always peels so much. Maybe it does on YouTube. But, um, so I did buy that last night when we went to Ulta. I bought the peel because I thought that was really good. The First Aid Beauty. And, um, so love that. And then I don't think anything, did I, anything I get really be a bummer? Not that I know of and I just thought of something else that I got that I need to tell you about but anyway this is the primer from Becca and I'm so bummed because I was um, using it and then somehow not paying attention doing this or something I poured some of it out and I wanted to get some more of it but they were already sold out at Ulta but I loved this and I put it on and I was like you know it feels good it looks good but I really wanted to see how it looked when it dried and by itself. So I put it on the backs of my hands and it really did give a, um, a nice finish and a brightening effect and a good base to put my foundation on. And I wore it yesterday and I loved it. So I probably will get this because in the summertime, I'm really not, you would think in the summertime is when I would want to wear like those mattifying primers and stuff because it's so humid here, but it really isn't. I don't like putting that much stuff on my face in the summertime. I just feel like it just, it's just going to sweat off anyway. And um, I like the, the lighter, the lotion-y, like the Too Faced Hangover Primer and stuff like that. So I may give this a try. I really liked it. It was really pretty and I love the consistency. So before I forget, um, one of you told me, and I'm sorry that I don't know your name right off. Maybe I can find it. But one of you told me that I should try the L'Oreal Gel Liner in Navy. And that's what I have on today. And I love it. I stopped and ran in. I had to stop at CVS anyway to pick up a prescription for John. And I ran over there and they had it. And so I got it and I used it yesterday and today. And it is so smooth, just like the espresso. And what I love about it is, see how it's not too blue? It's They do the best job with their colors. And I did notice that they had a bronze. You know, I usually use espresso. They had a bronze. And one day I might try that just to see. But I don't know. Usually I like a, a darker liner. 
but um so thank you whoever told me that i love okay. it okay the next things that i got from sephora yesterday is both of these are inspired by makeup by tiffany d and um the first one is this it's another cushion and it's the lancome miracle cc cushion and it is the color correcting primer in 03 pinky peach and i watched i think this was on her i don't know if she did a tutorial yes she did a tutorial with it and then she might have even done put it in her favorites and the first thing i did was um went to my lancome counter at belk they did not even know what it was but well in their defense i don't think it was a lancome lady there but the lady there was like looking through all the drawers and they didn't have it and so i went to the other belk and she said no we don't get that only you know um lancome online and higher end department stores so i even called dillard's thinking because a lot of times dillard's will get something that belk doesn't have and they didn't have it either so i had to order it and it is um it is i think it's supposed to be i think it's marketed as a primer but what the way tiffany used it and the way i used it is underneath my eyes and i did it just like I always do, I did it after I had done my makeup, and it's beautiful. So here is the, let me get out of the thread light. Here is the color, and so it's like that brightening pinky peach color, and I'm just going to put my finger in it. Wow. And um, But even though it looks so opaque, it really does blend out so pretty. Look at that. And I knew when she tried it on, I knew I would like it because it's similar to the Radiant Rose Prep and Prime that I like by MAC and the Radiant in the Maybelline Dream, Dream Lumi. It, that has also has that pink undertone. And look how pretty it is. See how it's even got that. It's got a little bit of coverage. Not as much coverage as like the NARS or the Shape Tape, but enough. And it really is brightening and it blends just so nice. This would be good, I bet, as a primer. Today I used the Dior Cushion Primer, and I used, today I have on, I didn't even know I was going to make a video, but today I have on, yesterday I used the Dior Spray one, what is it called, Skin Flash, and today I have on the um, Sephora one, I decided to try it again, and um, then I have on this with it, and I love it, and then I use that cushion as a base with that, which the cushion as a base, that um, Dream Skin, really does make it nice okay and then this is something that i had been thinking about and thinking about and then tiffany d had it in her favorites i believe and i think who else have i heard talk about this i think oh my goodness i know who it was it was erica i believe it was erica from um that shop in washington that i get the cool jewelry from that i got my shark tooth bangle and stuff from hitchcock madrona I think that she was talking about that she liked it because a lot of you had gotten samples and I had I kept wanting to get a sample every time I ordered something and they don't carry it at my, I have one of those little half Sephora's in JCPenney's. So I went ahead and got it and it is the Replica Lipstick On scent by Mason Margella in Replica and um, it says Providence and Period, Chicago, 1952. Fragrance description, night blush and rice powder. Um, style description, female fragrance. And yesterday when I sprayed it, I thought, oh goodness, I thought it was going to be too strong. Um, I don't know why, because it's really not. So, I don't know, maybe, I don't know what made me think. You know what? I bet it was because I also opened a lot of those samples that they sent in my Sephora box. They sent a packet of samples, so maybe that was it. Maybe I just had overload. But today I put it on. I did one squirt and kind of walked through it, and then I did another one and kind of walked through it, and then Brooke smelled it, and she did it. And I don't, John didn't complain. We took his truck. John didn't complain, and it didn't bother me at all. A lot of them might make my heart race and, you know, just be too strong, but this one isn't. And I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, because it doesn't really smell like lipstick. It, <laughs> I'm going to say something that's going to sound weird. And you're going to think it's not going to smell sound pretty. But it does. It kind of reminds you of a really pretty, like, when my, like, getting ready for church. Like, when my mom would be getting ready for church or my grandma would be getting ready for church. It just smells like women getting ready to go somewhere. 
And I love that smell. I love that feeling of, that's what I was thinking. I think the very day I decided to order this, I had put on a Dior lipstick. I put on Beige Angelique. I was going through my lipsticks and pulling some out to give my mom and some other people. And um, when I put that on, I just thought, oh, I love that smell. And I think that is when I decided to order this. So it's very interesting. I know most of you live near a Sephora and can try it, but give it a try. This wasn't cheap. It was still over $100, but I think I'm going to enjoy it. Something unique. It's not um, a boyfriend scent or anything like I am usually drawn to. I am not going to do an outfit of the day because I can't even back up today, but I wore my Gucci shoes. They're probably my favorite shoes, those and my Valentinos. But I wore my real tall platform Gucci shoes and I took pictures before we left. So I'll put them at the end of the video. And then this dress is um, one that I bought last year in, um, let me back up some. I bought it last year in Marshalls and I don't even know what brand it is. And it just has like a, you know, a tie like this. And then I'm wearing, and it has a ruffle at the bottom and like a little slip. And then the tights I'm wearing today are different than the hue. I didn't want like solid black tights. These are the Banana Republic tights. And I think they're so pretty. And then I wore those nude um, Gucci heels. I love them. And then this is a ring that I don't know if I've shown you guys before. But last time I met Sheila in, <clears throat> excuse me. I need a drink. I didn't bring it up here. Last time I met her in Raleigh, she brought me this and a bracelet. I didn't wear the bracelet today because I felt like with my, oh, excuse me, my heels and everything, I had enough going on, but um, I love it. Look how pretty that is. The craftsmanship. <laughs> so neat. And then my nails are still, I get them done tomorrow. And I think I want to go with like a pink or something, a bright pink or something happy tomorrow. But, um, this is, like I told you in my last video, the it was like a white C&D with bubble bath on top and um, earrings. When, as soon as I put this dress on, I knew I wanted to wear these earrings. They're Sheila Fajal, and they just kind of go with this look. I love earrings like this, especially in the summer with maxi dresses. And um, then this is my name necklace. It's the um, gold one that I can sleep in and take a shower in, and I had put it on yesterday. And I actually had to have John put it on me because these fingernails are not good for itty bitty little, you know, those spring fasteners or whatever, spring hooks. And what are they called? The round, spring rounds, I don't know. But um, so I didn't want to take it off, but it was perfect for today. Just a little something. And I guess that's it.